The student speaker for the 112th commencement is Elizabeth Bond Di Paoli, a candidate for a Master of Science in Finance degree. As a result of her academic success, Elizabeth was awarded the Golf Classic Academic Scholarship and was a finance tutor for graduate students while attending Walsh. She is a finance purchasing analyst at GTB Agency, LLC. Please welcome Elizabeth Bond Di Paoli. Good morning, everyone. I always knew I would go back to school to complete my master's degree. What I hadn't counted on was it would be a degree in finance. My undergrad classrooms were spent dissecting the syntax in a Dickinson poem and exploring the allegories used in Melville's Moby Dick. I could recite to anyone the structure of a Shakespearean sonnet, but if you had asked me to recite the structure of a balance sheet or an income statement, I probably would have stared blankly back at you, thinking to myself, now why would I need to know something like that? Well, after graduating with a BA in English shortly after the economic recession of 2008, I followed many of my peers who had also received a liberal arts education, and I promptly did nothing with it. <laughs> my part-time waitressing job became a full-time job. And I kept thinking, with the lukewarm job market being what it was, I'd go back to school, get my master's, eventually. But I had no idea if literature was the path I wanted to continue forward. And for once, my procrastination ended up paying off because I was lucky enough to get a position at a large tech corporation in their finance department. Suddenly, not only did I need to know the nature of financial statements, but I also had to navigate what seemed like an avalanche of acronyms and abbreviations thrown my way, like SGNA, PNL, and yes, EBITDA. During my first two years at that job, I discovered I really enjoyed working in the finance sector. The director of my team at the time was also a Walsh graduate, and she highly recommended the program for someone like me who lacked a relevant undergraduate degree. So in the fall of 2016, I decided to take the plunge, and I enrolled in the MSF program here at Walsh. I will never forget how nervous I was that first semester, how intimidated I felt at the prospect of taking an accounting class. And that first semester was really tough. I spent my Saturday mornings at the tutoring center going over the material, and I studied what felt like every night after work. But I survived. In fact, I ended up doing pretty well in that class. And I realized with each passing semester, I felt more and more confident in my abilities to keep up with the coursework that seemed so foreign to me just a few years ago. I felt less like an imposter. Eventually, I even became a tutor myself, and I'd like to think that I helped lessen other students' fears and doubts of their own abilities. Finally, after having completed the MSF program at Walsh, I feel like I belong in the business world, that I am no longer an imposter, and that I can push myself beyond what I ever thought I could achieve. And I am proud to call myself a Walsh graduate. And like so many of you here today, my family and loved ones provided a vital support system throughout my studies. I wanna thank my fiance for putting up with me when I was stressed out from exams and assignments. I want to thank my parents for trusting that I would eventually figure out what I wanted to do with my life. And of course, I have to thank the wonderful professors here at Walsh, like Dr. August, whose passion for accounting and finance is incredibly contagious. I knew I liked her from the very first lecture she gave. That only briefly changed after the first quiz she assigned us, but... <laughs> I'm happy to report I still consider her among the best professors at Walsh today. It's instructors like hers and, her and others who continue to push students to fearlessly overcome any obstacle they may face both inside and outside of the classroom. I'd like to say thank you to President Kelleher and the Board of Trustees, 
And of course, most importantly, congratulations to all the Walsh graduates. Thank you.